It's a wonderful time for us right now. We're hearing lots of positive speeches, advice, messages and cards, or comments on your mom's Facebook posts about you. We are receiving a lot of cards, gifts, and sentiments for our work we did to become graduates. This is our time to receive our praise, right? This is our praise, our time to puff up our chest and feel proud by all the praise we are receiving, right? There is nothing necessarily wrong with getting praise from your hard work, but we need to understand that with all the praise we are receiving, we still need to give praise to what is most important. We need to give praise to God. So in this baccalaureate service, that's what we've done. And I'm so thankful for the opportunity to be able to share this time with you and encourage you with something that I'm reminding myself about as well. You and I need to stay the course. What do I mean when I say stay the course? I mean continuing to grow in Christian faith and maturity. That's what Paul meant in 1 Corinthians 13. Listen to what verse 11 says. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I gave up childish ways. Do you remember first grade when we were rewarded stickers for being able to do simple addition like 2 plus 2, or maybe a really tough question like 15 plus 5? It's been a while since I was applauded for doing simple math like that, and that makes sense because we learn and we grow. Shouldn't we expect the same thing for our faith and maturity? We as Christian students need to not only strive to continue to mature and gather more knowledge, but more importantly, continue to mature and grow in our faith. Just as we expect to continue to grow in our education and knowledge throughout our school years, we would never assume that after high school, we would have all the knowledge we would ever expect to have. But can the same thing be said about your Christian faith? Would you be content if your faith was only as strong, only as deep, only as mature, as it is today. No, you should expect to grow, which is exactly what Paul means in the verse when he says, I gave up childish ways. He means he grew in his faith and maturity, and you and I need to continue in that as well. In order to do that, in order to grow, there are a lot of things that we could do and need to do, but in order to keep this short, I thought, what's the one thing we need to remember? What is this one thing? In order to stay the course, we need to continue to walk on the ancient and true roads. That's what Prophet Jeremiah said to the people of Israel in the Old Testament. He spoke God's word to them, saying, Thus says the Lord, Stand by the roads and look and ask for the ancient paths where the good way is, and walk in it and find rest for your souls. Did you catch that description? Ancient paths, meaning well-worn the kind of roads previous generations have walked in. Or, if you need a different picture, let's think of Andalusia Road and the fact that many people are traveling that road every day. Except the path Jeremiah is talking about isn't full of potholes that threaten a wrecked vehicle. The road Jeremiah is talking about is called the Good Way. And the reason why it's called the Good Way is because it gives us rest for our souls. It is the way of Jesus. In a time when we're told to stand out, go our own way, and forge a new path, somewhat like Robert Frost's advice of taking the road less traveled, I want to suggest that as it relates to our Christian faith, maybe taking the road less traveled is not the road to go down. Maybe we need to take the road well traveled, the ancient path, the road that our parents, grandparents, and great-grandparents have taken in their lives. By taking the same road, we learn to call their God our God, and their Savior, our Savior. Stay the course by walking in the good ways of the ancient paths. All that being said, even though you and I are going to be heading in different directions after graduation, for those who claim the name of Jesus, we need to continue to grow up in Christian maturity by walking on these ancient paths. Whether you're headed to college, into trade, into the military, or straight into the workforce, you're going to take some things with you and leave some things behind. Some of us may leave our car, maybe leave some of our clothes. We're going to leave our houses, the high school drama, and our jobs. Some of us may be taking most of our clothes, 
maybe your Xbox, that stuffed animal you've had since you were two years old, or that fancy microwave or microwave toaster that you wanted after prom. Wherever you're headed and whatever you're leaving behind or taking with you, remember to stay the course. Continue to walk on those ancient paths and grow deeper in a Christian faith. Fellow graduates, stay the course.